Hello everyone, we are going to follow in this tutorial um, the create uh, this uh, uh, panel uh, and uh, the, you must uh, uh, choose a value and then uh, and then uh, draw a diagram and it is a value in a knob and then uh, uh, you have a, a switch but the uh, binary switch and then uh, with the timer you are going to increase uh, uh, write a draw a graph uh, for this uh, uh, we are going to use a template new project use a template and it appear a panel and then uh, you are going to right click and use a graph a graph here this is a graph and then uh, uh, you are going to uh, right click edit control and uh, you are going to use a bottom x-axis relative time and it appear uh, uh, minutes and uh, seconds and in y here in y here it is between 0 to 100 and then uh, you are going to use a tab and in the first click you are going to right click numeric and this one dial and then in under in the second flick you are going to use a binary switch and we are using this one and you need a quit button uh, from here custom control quit button and here you use a timer you use a timer and the timer you can have a timer callback and interval is uh, one second you can use which uh, item of seconds as you want it and uh, we are using first the value and we are reading and then we are going to switch on uh, to show the uh, graph uh, for this, uh, when when you use all those things, you are going under code, generate main function, panel callback, and then all callbacks. And then uh, it starts uh, automatically in a .c file, and in .c file you are going to uh, check all those uh, header files are there and uh, you use user int.h and the uh, include function and I am going to use uh, include uh, toolbox.h and then uh, and you have a static that part and that part must be the same uh, it is uh, it writes uh, automatically and then in uh, panel callback even close you are going to use that function to terminate the uh, program and in quit uh, callback it's even coming it is the, that function to terminate the program and in timer callback you are going to use the time underscore t c time and unsigned in end time and a path name max uh, path len it is uh, in those header uh, uh, files above and an integer num n and the file file handle sign uh, amplitude and value and in event timer tick time of address C C time and end time is unsigned 
int c time and s rand is n time and you are going to use a set controller at, uh, attribute uh, with those uh, parameters and the uh, set control value again for uh, on and off value and uh, get control val uh, panel handle tab panel numeric dial and you must be sure that this one is tab panel numeric dial and uh, uh, they, they, they read from here when you choose a value it appear here and it's going to get this value and put it in the variable value and amplitude is the run divided by this function multiple by, by value and sign pattern is a uh, hundred elements uh, amplitude is that amplitude and it is a uh, 180 degrees with five cycle and it is a sign it's going to put in sign in this uh, array and we are going to delete the uh, plot uh, it should be clean and then we are going to get the uh, value from tab panel to binary switch and put it in uh, uh, item n when we go this and press it's up here on on and on is one and off is zero and when it is one if it is one we are going to plot if it is zero we are going to delete clear and then get project directory path name it is the path name and then make path name path name dot of file dot text path name and then file handle is open path name and write and uh, we are going to print all those uh, hundred uh, values in this and then we are going to close the file and it is all we need all we need in this program okay it was all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial you can only pause uh, the uh, video and check everything uh, and this uh, part is very important to check everything and the uh, right copy all those uh, source codes and uh, put it in your uh, in your uh, uh, callback function for timer okay it was all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial